Hey guys, it's Spy Cat, and this is episode 7 on Random Pickups. The last episode that I had, I had a little relapse on weed or wax, I guess you could say. But the important thing is, is that I didn't continue. I bought $60 worth of wax. I planned on just relapsing and giving up and uh, continuing to smoke, but uh, God kind of didn't let me do that, and I ended up kind of throwing the wax away and I'm probably going to sell my pipe and uh, I got with some street preachers uh, over the weekend and we preach the uh, Super Bowl and everything but uh, that's a different story but this is random pickups episode 7 I'm going to show you what I got yesterday and show you what I got today so uh, let me show you guys right now and uh, look who joined us guys it's uh, Sweeties Spy cat with my cat. Let's see what I got, guys. All right, guys. So I went to Amoeba on Hate Street, and surprisingly, the red tag, usually they're buy three, get one free. Uh, there was a special thing going on. It might still be going on, and it's buy one, get one free. So uh, can't pass up the good deal. So the first one uh, red tag that I got was uh, one ninety nine, and I got a one ninety nine one free. So it averaged about uh, two bucks, or no, a dollar. Jeez, only a dollar. No, one fifty. So these babies were like one fifty, I think. Wow, guys, had to think about that. Still. Having a little brain recovery from uh, smoking weed. See what weed does to you guys? It's a dollar. If I bought one for one ninety nine and got one free, it averages a dollar. Jeez Louise. My brain is not working for some reason. But uh, anyway, guys, I got Death Trap. Snapback case going on here. Uh, Michael Caine. I haven't heard of this movie, but uh, you know I collect the Snapback case movies. Uh, Michael Caine, he uh, did the uh, first James Bond movies. I think so. I think he did the first James Bond movies. Christopher Reeve. Um, I guess it's a movie about like a uh, stylish, sneaky cat and mouse movie. I don't know. I just got it for because I'm a crazy collector, guys. And uh, I don't know. It looks pretty fun. Rated PG. Uh, you guys can read what it's about. So uh, kind of cool. Alright guys, the next one I got is the free one. So I paid two bucks for that one, and I got a free one which averages about a dollar each. Pretty cool, man. A dollar for these movies? That's why That's why my collection's so big, guys. But uh, I got the third Sandlot. I never knew about this Sandlot before. Um, I bought... Sandlot 2 a couple videos ago, so uh, I saw the Sandlot Heading Home movie and just had to grab it. I like this uh, movie because of this guy. This guy used to be in all the kids' movies when I was a kid. He was like a 90s actor. He's in, uh, he's just in a whole bunch of weird movies. I think he might be in Bushwhacked or one of those 90s kids' movies that I grew up with. So uh, can't wait to watch that one. A uh, good old kids' movie there. All right, guys. And they actually had red tag TV shows. Um, I got the first season of Curb Your Enthusiasm for only two ninety nine, and I got another two ninety nine one free, which is the Lost first season. I I used to have have all the Lost seasons. I sold them all. I had to get the uh, the only one I really want is uh, Lost season one. I'm not even go gonna go crazy on trying to get all these again because uh, no season beats th the first season on Lost. Let's just uh, let's just keep it real, guys. But uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, uh, f first season, um, I looked at the sides and the uh, it's pretty messed up, pretty uh, dented, but uh, it's in pretty good shape for a $3 uh, DVD and get a free one, so uh, average is about uh, one fifty each for these, so pretty good deal. Curb Your Enthusiasm and Lost. That was uh, yesterday, so let me show you guys what I got. Oh no, I got a... Oh, yeah. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. I also got a Burt Lancaster movie. 
I was look. You guys know me. I always look for Burt Lancaster movies. I am a. I collect uh, actors, and the main actors that I want to get every single one of their movies is definitely Burt Lancaster, uh, kind of Clint Eastwood, kind of John Wayne, definitely Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon. In fact, since I'm just. I'll show you what I mean by uh, every Burt Lancaster movie. Let me go in the movie room. All right, guys, I'm uh, in the movie room, and uh, the Burt Lancaster starts from Brute Force, and I really want to get all of his movies. And it just goes on and on. All Burt Lancaster, all Burt Lancaster, all Burt Lancaster. I am insane. And it stops about here, and then it goes to uh, Jack Lemmon. So uh, let's go back in the room. I just had to show you how much of a uh, Burt Lancaster fan and collector I am. Man, that's a lot of Burt Lancaster movies. And not to mention all the uh, VHS tapes that are uh, out of print and not on DVD that I have. All right, guys, we're back in the uh, in the uh, random pickup bedroom, I guess you could say, where I show you guys what I got. And uh, so I'm glad I got this one. This I'm going to add this to the Burt Lancaster DVD collection. There's probably about six, maybe five more Burt Lancaster movies that I need to complete uh, the Burt Lancaster collection of every single movie that he made. I'm a huge fan of Burt Lancaster. Great actor. Uh, old school, though. This is one of his first movies. I think his first movie was The Killers in 1946, if I'm not mistaken. This one's 1949. Um, Rope of Sand. Um not really a good story to me, but I, I haven't really get, given it a chance to watch it, but I need to watch it. So, uh, Rope of Sand, Burt Lancaster. All right, guys, next up, that movie that I got yesterday is Heaven Knows Mr. Allison. I paid seven ninety nine for it. It's a uh, Fox War Classics um, this looks really good. I'm kind of getting into the classics and, uh, because I'm kind of doing the Christian thing now, I kind of want to stay away from like the R rated movies and the, uh, movies with a lot of cussing, even though I'm a huge collector, I might just stick to kids and, uh, old classic movies cause they never really swore and you know, they're kind of watchable by anyone, the, uh, old school movies. So I got heaven knows Mr. Allison. Um, looks like it's a pretty good movie. Um, Robert Mitchum's in it. So it's about uh, a guy, I think he gets like stranded on an island or something, and he winds up falling in love for a uh, a nun or a uh, Christian lady, kind of in the Catholic uh, sense. Um, I'm not a Catholic, I'm a uh, Christian, big difference there. Not going to go into why on uh, the Spy Cat video, that's uh, going to stir up some controversy. And this is just about collecting DVDs, guys, so uh, don't worry, I'm not going to Christian talk to you guys and... Uh, preach to you don't worry this is all about the movies so uh heaven knows mr allison 7.99 good classic movie um 1957 don't really have too many classic movies i'm gonna have to start collecting those next and this is a movie that uh i think the uh couple videos ago the video cut out because i ran out of time and i really wanted to talk about this movie i found this movie this is a really hard movie to find on ebay you can get this brand new for about 200 bucks so it is worth some money used ones go for about like 60 to 100 bucks um on ebay i only i seen this puppy for 29.99 at rasputin in the hate had this i scored on this and uh i just sc scored on this one um, I love this movie. This is a great movie. Um, good Disney movie. It's it's in the vault now, so it is out of print. That's why uh, this is out of print. And this version was the first DVD that was released. Uh, the first Beauty and the Beast DVD that was released. And uh, it might have some special features that the other new... Uh, I think there's two or three ones after this one that were released. But they might not have the special features, which makes... This one worth a little bit more uh, money, and it's in perfect shape, pretty much. I looked at the discs, perfect. Um, it's even got this uh, old school three dollars off. What's that? A and W or something like that. So that's kind of cool. So uh, that's the uh, that's what I got a week ago or something, and uh, I showed you guys what I got yesterday. Now let me show you what I got today. And it's not letting me have any light because I think the battery is running out. I got 27%, so I'll try to do this quick, guys. Um, so I got uh, this one. Hold on, guys. <laughs> 